Now the story of a wealthy family who lost everything, and the one son who had no choice but to keep them all together. It's Arrested Development. What's up guys, this is Corey, welcome to CNA Films and Animation. Well, based on that intro, I'm sure that you can guess what this review is. Arrested Development Season 1. Seeing as Netflix has recently um, posted the most recent season of Arrested Development, after a very long wait, I felt it would be very appropriate for me to review all four seasons. And to start it off, I'm reviewing Season 1, the, sh the season that started it all. Where to start? This show, one, has an amazing cast. Uh, you have Jason Bateman, Jeffrey Tambor, um, Will Arnett, Michael Sarah, David Cross, Tony Hale, Jessica Walter, and uh, Portia de Rossi. I probably mispronounced her last, you know, I probably mispronounced her name, but it doesn't matter. This show is probably the best sitcom ever made. Putting it right there on the table. There are obviously classics out there. I mean, I Love Lucy, M.A.S.H., um, just all sorts of them. And this is probably the modern day sitcom that everyone's going to remember, um, you know, from here on to 40 years from now. Um, this show had a very short life. It only had three seasons to its name, and it definitely deserved more. And until recently, uh, as of May 27th, 28th, Netflix uh, produced and distributed the, an, an entire fourth season. I have not seen all of season four yet, so I don't really know what to expect. So, uh, you know, don't spoil anything in any of these reviews um, in the comments, because I, I don't want to know. <laughs> until I see it for myself. So, as you may know, the show is basically about um, Jeffrey Tambor. He runs this uh, company, uh, Bluth Company. They make and sell model homes for, uh, for people, basically. And due to, you know, just all sorts of charges against him, he's thrown in jail, and it's up to his middle son, uh, Michael to take over the family business and to keep his entire family together um, You know, he has a sister who's married to David Cross who is a very eccentric uh, Person there's a lot of in jokes with his character and they both have a daughter uh, Michael's son is uh, in love with his cousin who is David Cross daughter and then he has a brother Joe played by Will Arnett and that's pretty much the entire family. And just each episode, something, you know, some hilarious hijink happens. There's kind of a small storyline with each episode, but, you know, it's one of the most well-written, one of the best uh, sitcoms out there. And the reason why it is is because this show has so many, like, small things that you will not catch the first time you see it. Uh, there, there's like the big jokes that you'll see right on and then there's a lot of little stuff that if you pay attention and look for it you will see it and every time you see it you know you, you you'll just die laughing um, you know honestly the uh, I, I've watched season one about two or three times now and every time I watch the episode another episode I see something new that I didn't see before uh, it's just one of those really cool TV series that always has something new to look for. The entire cast is absolutely fantastic in this series. Um, everyone works off well, very well with each other. Um, you know, the chemistry is very strong with everyone, and you can tell that they are all having a blast uh, making episodes and doing these uh, situations that they put themselves into. Uh, you can tell that the entire cast and crew just had a hell of a time with making this show, and it really comes off in, you know, to the audience. Uh, it's a very enjoyable show. It's probably the funniest show I've ever seen. Uh, you, you know, Community I absolutely love, but 
community has nothing against Arrested Development. You know, that's, that's just my opinion. If you haven't got a chance to see Arrested Development at all, go see it. It's on Netflix. Um, you can buy seasons from video stores. Um, you know, Best Buy sells them. Pretty much anywhere you look, you can pretty much find them in different stores. You know, they there's the three seasons. Fourth one just came out. It's I don't know if it'll be on DVD or not, but you know, it's on Netflix Instant Stream, and Netflix has it on DVD, I'm sure. So check them out. It is absolutely one of the best shows you you will ever see. I guarantee it. I'm going to give, to no surprise, Arrested Development a 10 out of 10. Um, it's just that good of a show. I mean, like I said, every time I watch it, there's something new, and it just keeps getting funnier and funnier as it goes along. So, again, if you haven't seen it, go. Rec I highly recommend that you check it out, because it is seriously one of the best shows out there. So tell me guys, have you seen Arrested Development? If you have, what did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Uh, I don't see how you could dislike it, but if you did, you know, what didn't you like about it? Um, you know, share your thoughts. Uh, what were your favorite moments in the show? Who are your favorite characters? Comment below, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you guys like this review, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. As always, I'm Corey, and I'll see you guys in the next one.